house then. For eight seasons, Dr. Gregory House Hugh Laurie and his team of diagnosticians faced some of the most perplexing medical cases and saved lives together at the Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital in New Jersey. After the end of the third season, Dr. House's team was represented by Dr. Ramai Hadley Olivia Wilder, Dr. Chris Tall Peter Jacobson, and Dr. Lawrence Cutner Cal Penn, who together overcame personal trials and made incredible discoveries in the field of medicine. Or House Small Details from House that make the show much better, best seasons of House 2 of 389 TV shows that only smart people appreciate. Desperate Housewives Men. The eight season television drama starring Eva Longoria, Terry Hatcher, Felicity Huffman, and Marsha Cross follows a group of women from the perspective of their deceased friend who took her own life in the series pilot. The show ran from 2004 to 2012 and still has quite a fan following. More Desperate Housewives, the best episodes of Desperate Housewives 20 of 95, the best dreamy TV series, 8 of 241, the greatest TV shows for women. Lizzie McGuire Now In August 2019, Disney announced that Disney Plus would be rebooting Lizzie McGuire, and in October revealed that four original cast members would be back Hallie Todd, Joe McGuire, Robert Carradine, Sam McGuire, and Jake Thomas, Matt McGuire, alongside Hilary Duff in the titular role. The cast gathered together for what appears to be a script read on the set of the new show. Though Duff announced in February 2020 the reboot was indefinitely on hold, the former cast still wanted to share something special with disappointed fans. On May 11, 2020, the Lizzie McGuire cast got together for a retro table read of the episode Between a Rock and a Bra Place in December 2020. Huff announced on Instagram that the revival was officially not happening. She wrote, I've been so honored to have the character of Lizzie in my life. She has made such a lasting impact on many, including myself. To see the fans' loyalty and love for her to this day means so much to me. I know the efforts and conversations have been everywhere trying to make a reboot work, but sadly, and despite everyone's best efforts, it isn't going to happen. I want any reboot of Lizzie to be honest and authentic to who Lizzie would be today. It's what the character deserves. We can all take a moment to mourn the amazing woman she would have been and the adventures we would have taken with her. I'm very sad, but I promise everyone tried their best and the stars just didn't align. Hey now, this is what 2020s are made of. According to Variety, Huff wanted a more adult version of Lizzie and the show, but Disney Plus was interested in a more family-friendly portrayal similar to the original series. Lizzie McGuire then. Elizabeth Lizzie McGuire is an accident-prone 13-year-old attempting to navigate the ups and downs of being a teenager. With the help of her loving parents, deviant little brother, two best friends, and animated sidekick who represents her feelings, Lizzie faces and conquers the everyday challenges of growing up. More Lizzie McGuire What happened to the cast of Lizzie McGuire 33 of 241? The greatest TV shows for women 113 of 146 The most annoying kids shows of all time. 30 Rock Bed. 30 Rock is Tina Fey's satirical masterpiece, staring the famed comedy writer herself alongside Alec Baldwin, Tracy Morgan, Jane Krakowski, and Jack McBrayer. From 2006 to 2013,
the stars of 30 Rock parodied Faye's experience as a head writer for Saturday Night Live with their behind-the-scenes adventures of a fictional live sketch comedy show. More 30 Rock 16 totally crazy yet genius 30 Rock fan theories the best 30 Rock characters of all time 78 of 447 the funniest TV shows of all time. Hannibal now. Just about five years after the show went off the air, Nerdist got the cast and crew of Hannibal back together for a behind-the-scenes reunion. On July 11, 2020, the reunion recorded in June will air on Nerdist's YouTube channel, with Brian Fuller, Mads Mikkelsen, Hugh Dancy, Gillian Anderson, Caroline Davernas, and more reminiscing about their time on set. Nerdist also teased a couple of special guests who aren't named on the roster who will appear live. Hannibal For three seasons, from 2013 to 2015, Hannibal aired on NBC, riveting audiences with its eccentricity and gore. The show is certainly one of the most shockingly gruesome for a network. Nevertheless, the prequel to Thomas Harris's Red Dragon provides provocative insight into the titular character's true persona. As Hannibal builds relationships with the FBI, Will Graham and more, we get to see just how manipulative and interesting the infamous cannibal really is. Or Hannibal 12 Reasons Why Mads Mikkelsen is the best Hannibal led to 36 of 389 TV shows that only smart people appreciate 230 of 339, the best TV shows of the last 20 years. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air Now On September 10, 2020, the 30th anniversary of the airing of the first episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was joined by Tatiana Olive Ashley Banks, Karen Parsons Hillary Banks, Joseph Marcel Jeffrey Butler, Daphne Maxwell Reed, and Vivian Banks, Alfonso Ribeiro Carlton, and DJ Jazzy Jeff Jeff to tape a one-time reunion show on the set of the Banks family home. Smith's Instagram post also included a photo of him meeting separately with actress Janet Hubert, the original Aunt Vivian, who left the show after three seasons reportedly in part because she and Smith didn't get along. Also in the post, Smith said R.I.P. James, paying tribute to cast member James Avery uncle Philip Banks, who passed in 2013. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air then. Before Will Smith was an enlist big screen actor, he was a much beloved small screen actor in the sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You are probably singing the theme song in your head right now, playing a kid from Philadelphia who goes to live with his rich aunt and uncle and their family in Bel-Air, Ka playing the title character, whose real name was Will Smith, too. He and the rest of the cast kept audiences entertained for six seasons from 1990 to 1996 with their upper-class antics. For the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air behind the scenes history of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air most people don't know 5 of 83, the best after-school shows from the 90s, 17 of 447, the funniest TV shows of all time. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.